Welcome, people of Earth. Today, what I've got for you is a little bit different. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice is weird. All right, what we have is Ragecraft, and this is, well, it's a complete the monument map, and it is insanely intense from what I can see. I've looked it up a little bit, and it looks extremely fun, but intense. So let, let's jump right into it, all right? Because that's what we like. We're probably going to have a lot of dying, because that's what I tend to do. But welcome to Ragecraft 3 The Prophecy, version 1.3, made, made by Helia. By the way, all the important details are going to be down in the description if you want to take a look at it yourself and all that type of thing. But yeah, um, beta testers, awesome people. And over here, what do we got? The following tools. Okay, MC Edit, World Edit, and MD Edit Explorer. Cool. All right. And by the way, this looks amazing as 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 usual for the Ragecraft maps. But <clears throat> make sure to read all the following signs. So I'm assuming it means all this stuff in there. This map is basically survival. That's what the Ragecraft stuff is. It's basically survival done the very hard way. Activate death counter because because we're going to have big numbers, you know? <laughs> okay, give me the rules. Never set your difficulty peaceful, because this is break the map. All right, that's kind of obvious. Um, do not use cheats or mods. No villager trades. Do not, uh, involving emeralds, yeah. Do not go to the nether or use glitches to move through bedrock. You may use ender chests, but you're not allowed to build or place them. Do not break or mess with the monuments, so just place the blocks. That makes sense. Aside from these exceptions, you may place, break, or craft anything you like and do whatever it takes to survive because it's going to take a lot to survive. And what are these? These are the objectives. So you got to put all the pieces of wool every, um, yeah, and then try to paste as many emerald blocks. So there's going to be emeralds hidden throughout the map. And when we get nine of them, we can make a block. And when we place that block, then we get a bonus. Okay, cool. Um, alright. Required settings. You must use these settings. GUI scale. Large or normal. Not auto. Okay, yeah. That's, I've got it on, uh, eight or more chunks. Yeah, I've got that. Um, got that. Easy to hard. I got it right in the middle there. Alright, cool. That's all good. And this map has been thoroughly tested by more than a dozen beta testers. Unfortunately, Minecraft has added coveting random bugs and if glitches in. If any of those report them to Minecraft, or okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, cool. And what do we got over here? Recommended. Oh, that's wait. Isn't that what we just looked at? Oh, graphics fast, clouds off, render distance. Okay, I think I should up my render distance a bit. What does it say? Twelve to. Let's see if we can get in the middle there. 12 to this, oh, 12 to 16. I'm going to put it in 14 just because, uh, you know, why why overdo it? 12 is, you know, just put it in the middle. It's a good, good number in the middle. Additional ints. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing to me? Slowness. Does it take slowness to read a book? Never. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get the hint. Multiplayer information. This is legit. Nope, 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 nope. No, ready, press the button. Okay, never trust a chest, you dumb idiot. Okay, this is going to be intense. Oh, oh, hi, hi, I'm stuck in a block. Okay, already lost a heart. Great, after a long journey past the great sea, you finally return home. Looking around, looking a crown, looking around, you cannot shake the feeling that something is wrong. The sky looks darker than normal. Well, it's kind of night. Um, then, this time of day, there's no wind. No noises at all. No birds or critters. And yet, you feel like something is watching you. Never trust a chest. <sighs> Just take it all. <laughs> Alright, something's watching us, apparently. Ay ay ay. Okay, food. Good source of food right off the bat. That's definitely a good thing. Um, what else do we have around here? Probably a ton of mobs before very long. Um, yeah, we're going to need some wood. 
That's definitely a thing we're going to need right away. We have a bit of food. We have a source of wood. I'm just going to grab a bunch of it because there's probably going to be some throughout the map. But that doesn't mean we're going to have a chance to grab it. So while we can, I'm going to grab a bunch of wood here. And what? How much is that? 25? That'll probably last a while. I'll cut down the birch for sticks because that's all birch wood is useful for. Because I hate birch wood. <laughs> okay. And what do we have next? <clears throat> mob. There's a mob there. Actually, I should really set this up. Set up my inventory. And just the way I like it to work. Hi. Hello. Um... These types of, you know, something I thought of is these types of maps are going to be really hard in 1.9 when the, um, you know, with the whole change in the in the fighting mechanics, you can't spam click. That's going to make these types of maps really hard. Maybe they'll just implement the command block because <clears throat> there is a command block change you can use for those. Okay, I don't know what I thought that was, but <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, there's a command block you can use and it'll give you like the regular what we have in 1.8 and we've, what we've always had. But I, personally, I kind of like the way 1.9, it makes you need to be more mystri more mystrigic. I can't words. More strategic. Um, okay. These mob placements are seeming very strategic. White crystal area, valley of blood, nine emeralds. Okay, so there's nine emeralds, which means there's enough to make one emerald block in this area. This huge area. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> what do we have here? Antidote, one, removes one level of poison, a journal, and... Okay, so let's read the journal real quick. Uh, don't need those. Okay, journal. <clears throat> When I looked out the window today, I knew what was happening. Our ancestors called it the Great Darkness. All of this has happened before, countless centuries ago. The skies are dark and grim, as if the light had disappeared from the world. Back then, our ancestors built a monument out of powerful arcane crystals that brought the light back over the world. Over the centuries, looters has disassembled the monument and sold the precious shiny crystals all over the continent. I have read prophecies of a young adventurer who will restore the monument and banish the great darkness from the world once again. But who will it be? Who will take on this monumental task, travel the most dangerous regions of the world, and fight the most horrifying monsters on their search for the lost crystals? I cannot imagine a warrior brave and strong enough to take on this burden. As for me, I will travel to the Temple of Light and help the Paladins fight off the darkness for as long as possible. I'm afraid the valley has already been corrupted. Some of the townspeople have changed. Their eyes are white and full of madness. It is not safe here anymore. Ooh, this is... <laughs> I like the way this is going. <clears throat> um... Yeah, another thing, I'm just going to try to keep these episodes around 20 minutes. Anything longer than that uh, is probably going to get pretty repetitive and stuff. This is going to be probably a once a week thing like my LP, um, but not on the same day, obviously. Haven't seen any more mobs, but I'm sure they're going to come before long because this is going to get intense. All right, so let's look around a bit and see what we have around here. Just some stone, coal, oh, do we not, I don't have a pick. You make a pick. Alright, crafting table, crafting thing, alright. There seems to be a bunch of lights around here too. Uh, okay, well first thing we're going to have to make is um, a bunch of sticks right off the bat and then make a pick because I'm not sure if we should mine for some stone. I mean, stone right here. Might as well grab it. Oh, bad idea. Bad idea, you dumb idiot. And that's going to mean there's going to be a ton more. What have I done? Don't trust anything. Not even... No, more of that. This is bad. Oh, 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 no, 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 what am I doing? I thought, 
Ah, don't trust it. Don't trust it. Oh, this is bad. Get out of here. Things are bad. Leave the crafting table behind. Just go. Just go. What's up there? That's a huge tree. Hmm. <laughs> cool. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, boy. This could get bad pretty quick. Grab some food. Keep an eye on the lookout. Uh oh. Oh, 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 is there, there must be a spawner somewhere. I'm gonna need some coal. I know I'm gonna need some coal for torches, because that's extremely important. Lighting up is extremely important in these maps. Okay, there's gotta be a spawner around here someplace. Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe it just happened to, no. I saw it spawn there. I distinctly saw the particles around it, which means I... That's not what it means. Ha ha! Hi, chicken. Food. Food is going to be also extremely important in this map. But I don't see anything else. I, they got to be coming from somewhere up there. Because when I was up... Ah! See? Look at that. When I was up there... Uh-oh. Yeah, when I was up there, they weren't spawning. But now I'm down here, and they're spawning again. Which means that there's got to be a spawner up there someplace. Question is where? Or is it down a little farther, hidden underneath a tree or something? Oop, try to chop down a tree with a book. Makes so much sense, I know exactly how to do this game. Um, let me see, let me see. No, I don't see, I still don't see anything, but they gotta be coming from somewhere, right? Question is where, and I don't really dare find out. Keep moving, keep moving, that's, that's important. Okay, what do you got here? Coal mines. Up, up in the, up in the thing up here, there's coal mines. <laughs> don't fall, don't fall. Uh, okay, and we're up. Whoa, hello, la massive lag spike. Okay, oh, sword broke. Good thing they gave us an extra. Hmm. What else is there around here? wonder if there's anything up in the tree. Or up here. I guess we'll find out. Oh, don't injure yourself. <laughs> wow. Wow, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> okay, so we have like a... That's actually really... They are really good builds in this game. In this, like, map. I don't... I don't see any spawners or anything, which is really weird, and I also don't see a ton of mobs, which is kind of good because we have really bad gear at this point. Oh, okay. So you, you see the particles there, the white particles when they spawn, but I'm not sure where they're coming from. I'm doing it again. That's just where I'm used to having my, my axe. There it is. I don't have a pick. Is this possible? Can you, can you break? Okay, you can. Okay, good. Um... So there must have been something like that around someplace for the zombies as well. But who knows where it was. Okay, there's got to be one around here somewhere. Is there time to find out? Ah, there it is. Take out the spawners. Oh, we have torches. What am I doing? Light it up. Light it up. Okay. And there's another one of these guys. So... I don't know, there must have been more than one spawner. I don't really have time to look. I am looking for... I'll be looking for some... Emeralds? Hi. Ha ha ha. I'll be looking for emeralds? Basically, that's what you're... And the wool, obviously. That's the main thing that you're looking for in these maps, is the... Each area has its own color of wool. That's the main thing that you got to get out of here. But you have to fight all these mobs to get it. Uh-oh. 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 Am I low on food? I'm out of food. Eat. Fight. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be intense, especially as we go farther along. Because it's already not simple. <laughs> okay, we have one chicken. We have three apples. 
we're going to need to get a food source situated. Yeah. I mean, there's stuff over there. We didn't even go down there, right? Um, maybe we should. Maybe we can see what we get out of the re... No! No! <sighs> okay. Let's try this again. Let's get back over to where we were. I think it was this way. It better have been this way. Okay. Let's move it. Move it. Uh, stick out. Get out. No, 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 no. So much nope. Very much nope. Keep moving. Okay. Skeletons. Skeletons are bad. Move. Move it. Move it. That's a zombie. Spawner. Spawner. Someplace. I don't have time to look. I know they're probably behind those um, soul sand blocks, but I don't have time to look for that. Wait, how did I... Did I cross the bridge? I must have crossed the bridge. No, I didn't. I didn't cross the bridge at all. I do not remember this. How did I get up there? How did I manage that? What? Much confused right now. Oh, the ladder. Duh. Obviously. <laughs> I need to check the time. Give me a second. I'm going to check the time, see how long I've been recording. I'll be right back with the uh, second part, maybe. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me let me get to my stuff. I don't want it to despawn. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to need, like, stuff and things. Oh, there's a spawner. I shouldn't have hit this spider. It wasn't attacking me. Why did I provoke it? Oh no! 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 What? This? This is? Well, I have a sword. What am I doing? Okay. Okay. Let me check how long I've been recording. I'm gonna set a timer from now on. Okay, I'm back. I just died again. This is not going well. And there's going to be mobs all over the place again. <laughs> okay. We have like three minutes left. And I hope... <sighs> I have to get... I have to like figure out a strategy. Because I can't just like dive in like this. It's, it's killing... It's killing me. Literally. And this is bad. So, <coughs> <coughs> see, I'm dying. This game is killing me. I may not live to the next episode. Okay, gold books, potions. Actually, I should get my inventory sorted out. That that should be like a first, a first priority here, so I can figure out what I'm doing and stuff like that. Okay, so we have. Oop. Don't, don't kill yourself. Um, cool thing to do that could like help me help me um, hide behind things so I can fight mobs. Um, another useful thing would not be to attract mobs toward me because that's probably not a good idea. Um, okay, let me see. I'm gonna need another crafting table. So there's there's my craft. Oh, I already had a bunch of wood. Okay, and. Let me see. What do we have? We have some sticks. So I'm going to make a couple wooden picks. It's kind of a waste. Oh, I already have some. What I need is a sword of some type. And I'm just going to go like that. All right. Awesome. So we're just going to do that. Oh, that's right. I remember what I wanted. I needed some of this. Cool. All right. So now we've got that mostly sorted out. We've got to get the torches. What are these potions? Poison removes. Okay, that's antidote removes poison. Cool. Um, some of this I'm probably going to dump along the way, but we'll keep it for now. Okay. So first things first is this area. Okay, this area is full of spiders. What do you mean monster hunter now? I've killed so many mobs. Oh, you have to get the sword... Objective first. Nope. Nope. Please. Nope. Please. Nope. Alright. 
Okay. Ooh. <coughs> it's getting intense. Whoa. Whoa. Where's all that coming from? I'm going to turn around. Very much turn around. And get my brain sorted out. Because it, my brain is, is kind of confused right now. This is quite a bit more difficult than I expected. <laughs> um... But I think that's all I've got time for for this episode. So if you liked this, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have any ideas for what you want me to do, for any ideas at all, just leave a comment down below. But other than that, uh, that's all I've got for you. And I'm planning not to die. See you next time. This is Toxel Cram 10-4 over and out.